Oh, good morning. I am sorry I am late. They added eight minutes of stoppage time in the Newcastle match, and it was nuts, but we won. So I'm not even sure what we're reading today, but we'll start. We'll do Matin. So, um, also I do want to say happy birthday to my mom, who turned 68 today. So, happy birthday, mom. See you Monday. All right, Matins. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ, alleluia. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm for today is Psalm 106, verses 16 through 23. When men in the camp were jealous of Moses, and Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord, the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Abraham. Fire also broke out in their company, and flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped a metal image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore he said he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading for today is going to be Luke 6, uh, verses 20 through 38. And just to, uh, to back this up, this is uh, going to be, I believe, let's see. Yes. All right. So, uh, I believe it's part of the Sermon on the Plain from Luke, which is the parallel to the Sermon on the Mount. But we'll start at verse 20. And he lifted up his eyes, that is Jesus, on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you. When all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. 
But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from the one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from the one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good. Lend and respect nothing in return, and your reward will be great. You will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, shaken down, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use it, it will be measured back to you. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heaven. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. One of the complaints that, that I end up having is that so often we, when we talk about righteousness and good works and such like that, we, we short sell it. Or when people look at what it gets called the social gospel, and everything gets undersold. When Jesus teaches about what our behavior is to look like, he goes beyond what anyone thinks of in the world. Uh, you do have folks who, who are doing your, your liberation theology, your liberal stuff. Well, look, the, the people who don't have to eat are blessing. The people who have uh, too much, they're bad. Well, not quite. Um, you're supposed to pray for them. And, well, when Jesus says, love your enemies, does he really mean to love? Yes, go be generous. Why should someone's evil keep you from doing good? So often, we want to justify the, the casual cruelness and disdain that we show to others. Why is it right? Why is it understandable for me to treat this other person like a jerk? And that doesn't hunt. And, and there's this beautiful end cap to it. And, and Jesus knows he's setting an impossible standard. And this is part of the point. We are supposed to see the depth of our sins so we are to dri be driven to repentance. But love your enemies. And do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High. Why? Because you've done great things. No. For he is kind to the ungrateful and to the evil. Yeah, you, you learn to do what your dad does, but also remember he's your dad, he's your father, because he's been kind and grateful to you. And so when you see wickedness in the world and others, that should not be a cause to elevate yourself. It should be a simple reminder of your own wickedness. God be merciful to me. And he is. That's why there's the judge not. Don't worry about condemning them. Why? God doesn't condemn you. Instead, he gives you mercy. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. 
So that's the reality of it. All right, we're going to uh, pause there and close up with some prayers. Um, I, I am getting ready to take a quick trip to Oklahoma after church on Sunday, so uh, we need to get some stuff ready to get the family ready to move. So um, let's close up with some prayers, and then we'll be on our way. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you have poured out upon us. And we ask that you would so uh, forgive us, free us from our sin, and fill us with your love and spirit, that we would be glad to give as we have been given to, that we would show love as we have received love. We ask your forgiveness for the times when, when we do not. We ask that you would by your power break and curb all those things that would hinder us from, from showing love as your children ought. Be with us this day. Keep us safe in our comings and goings. Bless all those who are ill, the dying, those who care for them. Grant them strength and endurance and focus them on the love that you have for them in Christ Jesus. Prepare us this weekend as we prepare for worship service around the world. Uh, bless those who will be able to attend. Grant that they would hear the word and receive your supper to their delight and edification. Bless those who are unable to attend. attend. And grant that they would speedily be brought again into your presence with the company of your saints. These things, and whatever else you know that we need, we lift up to you, trusting the great love you have for us in your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray, as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <sighs> Yet, one of the temptations is the... Not so much the temptation to be angry or hurt straightly. Because, yeah, we do get angry, we do get hurt. Be angry, but do not sin. The problem is we will use those things that are wrong to justify our own wrongdoing. And that's the, that's the trick. Um, I like to put it this way. Don't get offended. If you are off-ended, you're, you're not upright. You're off your end. You're not balanced, and then you can't do anything. Any any athlete will tell you that balance is important. If I'm hitting the golf ball but have no balance, I'm not going to be able to do anything. If I'm perpetually off-ended and upset, again, up, set, down, I have no balance and I can't show love to anyone. All I can do is rage. Never does any good. So, All right, everyone, have a good day. Uh, at 4 p.m., there will be our Genesis study, and we're just really going to start the creation of man in Genesis 2. So the, uh, the great retelling there. So the Lord be with you this day. Bye.